Hey, I had a meeting a few weeks ago with a pretty large software outsourcing company. I was trying to explain them how bureaucracy works and how we work with freelancers. And they were trying to find a way how to utilize the pool of freelance resources we have for their business. They have huge amount of programmers sitting full time in their offices and doing some you know, work for the uh, outsourcing contracts. And they were interested to find a way how they can uh, work with a growing uh, market of people working remotely, working from home, working in a freelance mode. And that was a very tough conversation, negotiation, the dialogue, because they gave me a huge amount of reasons why freelancers are way worse than their full-time employees. And it was difficult to actually answer their complaints. And I decided to create a document, which you can find in the, uh, in the link uh, below the video, where I, in 10 pages, tried to summarize what's going on and what's wrong, I believe, with this attitude. So I started the document with a short analysis of uh, what's wrong with freelancers. And I'll give you the, um, the highlight of my uh, conclusions. Freelancers have no accountability. You cannot rely on them because they jump from project to project and you cannot catch them and make them accountable for something. They sometimes provide you fake information about who they are, about resumes, about their experience, about their portfolio. So sometimes you may start working with someone who is not the person you actually hired. They have very moody attitudes. As they say, you work with freelancers and you learn about depression. Sometimes they want to work, sometimes they decide not to work today, so it's unpredictable. Uh, lack of control. They say that freelancers uh, are uh, difficult to, uh, to control. You don't know exactly how a freelancer works, I quote. No matter how much you convince yourself, you have no power over freelancers. They can deliver the project on time or not. High turnover. They come and go. Today you have those freelancers, tomorrow you find a better project and they just quit and you can't do anything with that. Low quality. It's a very typical assumption that uh, freelancers deliver uh, the code of lower quality. Communication issues. It's difficult to communicate with them because they sit far away. They are somewhere in a different city, in a different country, in a different continent. And of course, because of the time zone differences, because of their language differences, language barriers, it's difficult to communicate with them. It's not so easy uh, to build a team where people are sitting in different locations. Um, the absence of talents, that's what they say, that's what the CEO of Reddit, the former CEO of Reddit said in, the, in one of his articles, that uh, it was extremely difficult to find decent engineers who could do the things uh, we need. So that's also true. The market is now full of full-timers and there are not so many freelancers who actually can produce high quality results. And I was hearing all that and that's why I made the document to summarize that everything which was said before is actually true. It is true what they say about freelancers. That's the situation. That's the reality. However, my answer to those outsources was that the amount of freelancers in the world is growing. That's statistics which, which we can find in many places. Uh, the Gallup research recently published said that uh, the amount of people working remotely in America grows like 7-10% every year. So people want to work from home, they want to work remotely, and they want to be freelancers. That's just the reality. Companies who want to grow, who want to stay on the market, who want to, um, to go with the modern trends, they have to do something with those freelancers. They need to work with them. We cannot stay with full-time employees for the next 20 years, maybe for a few years, but later then we need to do something in order to start working with freelancers. And we need to understand those companies who uh, employ now a large amount of programmers. They need to understand that freelancers are not just full-time employees working from home. This is not what freelancing is about. Freelancers are com is a completely different category of, of workers, of resources you can employ for your project. 
they work on the completely different set of rules, principles, ideas, and mentality. They need different approach for the management. We need to find a way how to manage those people. They are different. They are not full-time people which you had before. You used to work with people sitting in the office, uh, staying responsible to you full-time, being responsible for the time they spend for your project, and paid by the hour or by the month or by the year. Now you deal with a completely different category of people who have different mindset. They are self-disciplined, they are greedy, they are frequent travelers, they are risk tolerant, they are self-motivated. I'm just going through the document and listing you the things which I think uh, freelancers are. So those people are different. You cannot manage them the way you were managing full-timers before. You need to invent new rules of management, new principles, new ideas, new concepts. And that's what Xerocracy is doing. I'm not promoting Xerocracy now. This is not my point. My point is that there should be new management methods. You cannot manage new people with the old uh, tools and old uh, concepts of management. We need to invent new ideas and new management philosophy. Freelancers are people who have the concept of freedom as their primary priority. They want to choose the project, they want to choose who they work for, they charge for the results, they move from project to project, they want more money, they are more greedy, they value freedom over stability. What to do with them, how to deal with them, that's the question for your, for your management. You can come to Xerocracy and see what we are doing, you can invent your own approach, but you need to do something with that. You cannot just take those free people, freelancers, put them on the, on the payroll and say, hey, they're unreliable. They just quit. The first moment I try to push them, they quit. The moment I try to strong arm them somehow, they just walk away. Of course they do, because they are different. You need different methods to work with them. Think about that, read the document. I think I managed to put all my thoughts in there and let me know what you think. Thanks, stay tuned.